Hey guys, it's Kathy and today I'm going to be doing the Legend of Zelda book tag. No, I was not tagging it into doing this, but I thought it was pretty cool. I saw it on Sam's Nonsense, Sam's, Sam from Sam no Sam's Nonsense, Nonsense, and I will tag, and I will, bleh, I will leave her video down in the description so you guys can go check it out. And yeah. I also wanted to thank Stripped, Stripped Culture Lit, no, Stripped, wow, Stripped Cover Lit, I believe, for subscribing to my channel, as well as deciding to follow me on my channel, on my Twitter account, so, yeah. The first question is, Legend of Zelda, your favorite classic. For this, I have a few. Because I, I have a few classics. I'm not going to go into much depth, but I have a few. And it's literally a, a small pile. Probably. It's, it's pretty much about that big. So, I'm just going to go at it one, one at a time. One second. The Fairy's Return by Carson, by Gail Carson Levine. For Biddle's Sake by also by Carson, Gail Carson Levine. Wow, I'm old. The Secret Garden by Francis by Francis Hodgkin Burnett. Little Women by Louisa May Alcott. Twelfth Night by William Shakespeare. Charlotte's Web by E.B. White. And the, and the Visitors from Oz by L. L. Frank Baum. I hope you enjoyed that pile. I enjoyed I did. And I and I enjoyed all and I enjoyed all the books. So yeah. Look who decided to visit. And he was helping me. And he was being my comfort. Yeah, he's being my comfort. Because I am so unprepared for this video. Which I, which is on pure, out of pure honesty. I am out of, I'm not prepared. And stuff was falling off my, falling off my stuff. Stuff was falling off. And, yeah. This, this little friend came up and decided to comfort and I appreciate it. Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. What makes you think you have the right to bite me? That. Sorry. Um, anyway, the next question is: The Adventure of Link, a sequel that that was just good, or if not better than the original. I'll link my review down in the description. And not much of a surprise at this point. Especially the especially the Wake trilogy, not much of a surprise. Shouldn't I? I'll just shut up about that now. The third question is Link's Awakening, the sat the saddest book that you've ever read. I so far I haven't read a book that that made me cry yet. Um, but, um, I, I will, 
let you know. Soon. Josh, you better be a good boy. Sorry. See his head? But anyway, I haven't read a sad book yet. But like I said, I will let you guys know in the future. Cause, like, in case I have read any of sad books. So, yeah, who knows? The next question is also Arcadia, Arcania of Time. A book where the main character matures. Oh, yeah. I have, it, I have it right in front of me. How convenient. Anyway, sorry about that. I, The Chase Brothers. Knox and... Knox and Chase and Evelyn have changed. Like, they, they've matured and they're willing to help out. And they're willing to help out. I... Ad, Adia? Adia? Anyway. Hey, yeah. Anyway. Um, the, all three of them, respectfully speaking, have matured because they were willing to help out with all the, with all the crap that, that's pretty much been going on in the, the this land, this la wow, this land has... Um, like this land that has, um, excuse me, that has, um, any sort of, um, um, like that, that has taught them how to do stuff, and, yeah, I don't know how to word it, but then... Yeah. Next, the next question is, um, is Majora's Mask a book where time is an important element? Actually, yeah. Um, I, and obviously, because I had the books, I chose purposely chose Queens of Geek by Jen Wild because um because spending time with friends is that and the people that you lo who love you regardless um is important and everything everything by No Cole Yoon is it's kind of like the same thing as Jen as Queens of Geek but um but instead of it being like with your family, like it's it's pretty much spending time with a, a new friend or a love interest, like regardless of how your health is, and um, it's pretty much time like it's pretty much a time to to pretty much get out of your comfort zone, and I feel like I feel like this does I feel like this represents that. Now that I'm thinking about it. And I feel like for everything, everything, like, yeah, wow. For Queens of Geek, spending, yes, yes, at a, at a convention, I have no doubt that it's probably busy as I'll get out. But spending time with your, the people that love you in the, in this book, come to think about it, pretty much shows that you're, that you're willing to be with them. Um, regardless of how, regardless if you have a crush on them, to, like regardless of how much you have a crush that on them or how much you lo appreciate them for being as a friend. So, yeah, these two books are my answer. Answers. Are you guys sensing a common theme of I have more than one books for, more, more than one book for some of these answers? I'm just, and I'm just realizing this now. Yeah, next question. The next question is Wind Waker, a book that, a book revolving around the sea in some way. I'm improvising because the because, um, the Red Pyramid is in my backpack. But this, 
but the rub pyramid pretty much has water in it and it requires that at one point and uh and so actually yeah and so does so does the five so that's the five done this trilogy I see what I mean I have more than one book for, for multiple question multiple questions can you tell any anyway it has water in it next question the next question is four swords a books oh Actually, yeah, four swords, a book, a book or a series that has the best fandom. Anything with Rick Riordan. That's what I've been seeing lately, or at least on Abigail Hant, Abigail. Yeah, if you've seen, I'd, I'll link her, I'll, TBR, I'll link her TBR video down below. Yeah. Next, the next question is the mina the Manish cap a book that reminds you of a book that reminds you of you a little, a little of being little oh crap Charlotte's web because when I was a kid I wrote I read that book and I reread it and I watched rewatched the movie so Yeah. The next question is is um, Twilight Princess a book with a dark theme? The the twelfth night because it, even though even though death is even though in this case the the death scene is not really real, they pretty much. Um, it pretty much talks about that for a little while. Um, Queen Zuki, because I know for a fact that autism can be can be hard to talk about for some people. Like, um, for me personally, um, for me personally, I didn't let me having autism, which is one, of, which is what Taylor, yeah Taylor has. Um, I didn't really have that be I didn't really have that as a label. I just like it just changed me for the better. That's that's for me. Per, like personally that's me. But and, and I haven't mentioned this in a while, huh? Um Um I skipped a question. Crap. <laughs> um but anyway. Sorry about that. Um, um, this has to do with bringing up like um, a lot of like abuse between like teachers and students. Oh, this is not always happy by Kari Wagner Beck. Oh, uh, this may be the worst. This may be the video where I'm the most tired out of all the videos that I've done. So I, I missed a question. I have more than one book for for some of the questions. Ooh. Can you tell I'm having a lovely time doing this video? Can you tell? Jeez. It's working out to my disadvantage. Anyway, I'll go back to question number six and just talk about that for a little while. Question number six is or Oracle of Ages and slash seasons a duology or two books that don't get don't that don't get the attention that they deserve actually I have I have actually the Cain Chronicles Twelfth Night not always happy that's all I've gotta say and I was gonna have these two books be, be for this question and I just I realized I forgot to answer the question, so thank God I have my desktop on. That's all I've got to say is thank God I have it. <laughs> so, yeah. The next question is is Sky is Skylord 
Skyward Sword, a book that was difficult to get through. Any books that I've DNF'd, like Six of Crows. Yeah. Nothing against Six of Crows, it's just that that book personally just wasn't for me. I just I couldn't get through it. Anything with anything by Dick Francis or his son. Um Um Actually just check out my like if you're friends with me specifically on Goodreads, check out my DNF. So check my DNF page out. Like my my DNF shelf, and you'll see and you'll see more more of the more you'll see more books there off the top of my like literally that's literally there. So yeah, for this end, for this question, I don't really have one other than Nick Nolte's book, even though it, it's already been released. Um, but anyway, but anyway, um. Um, Hy Hyrule Warriors most an most anticipating most anticipated upcoming release. Like I said, I don't like I said earlier about this question. I don't really have one other than Nick Nolte's newest book, and actually, and possibly John McCain's book. Newest book. Yeah, I'll just go with those two. Um, John McCain's newest book and Nick Nolte's newest book. Like I said, Nick Nolte's book has already has already been released, but I heard Nick Nol that yeah, wow, I heard but well, yeah. But on the other hand, I heard that John McCain was releasing a new book. So yeah, don't know if that means anything to you guys, but I figured why why the heck not? So. Yeah. The next game is we we title. Who do you name as tagged? Oh yeah, that's the tag question. Uh, um. Right before I start, yeah, right before I started doing this tag, Gabby from Gabby Reads commented on my on my most re uh, commented on my. On my on the Jake Jell and all of the tag, which is her original tag, tag. I I thought it'd be nice to to do something different. So I thought that was the perfect tag to do, to do as well as the the Legend of Zelda being the per most perfect tag to do. So yeah, I, like she pretty much thanked me for it, and I and I will openly admit it was pretty fun doing it. So. Like I said in the comment, Gabby, if you want me to do it, if you want me to do any more of your future tags, just let me know, and I am more than willing to do it. So, I will tag you in this one purposely because you, even though I wasn't tagged in your video and and I did it, I thought it'd be nice to just throw it out there. I know that you, I know that you've, I'm not sure if you've played it before, but but if you have, great. Um. Yeah, I'll tag Gabby, probably Paul Reed, Paul from Paul Reed's, and um, Desiree from Decker Desiree's Bookish Thoughts. Yeah, I'll probably tag those three in it. So, yeah, who knows? This is pr this is four, nearly four years old. So this tag is, according to Sam's from Sam Nonsense, like w like when she did it was 2014, October of 2014. So, yeah, I will I will see you guys soon with a new video, and I hope that you guys enjoyed it. So, see you guys soon. Bye.